Welcome everybody, my name is Fausto Puglisi from Cybertrain University. I'd like to thank you for listening in. Everyone's probably going with the frenzy. What is going on with GameStop? You probably did your homework. It's a short squeeze. And if you haven't watched any of my videos, you'll see I've been talking about short squeezes forever. Now, unfortunately, catastrophes make opportunities. GameStop, you just heard that Elon Musk went out there. Even he got attention and tweeted it. It's on Bloomberg, it's on everywhere. Is the rally over? Is this going to be done? Well, let me tell you something. This is extremely dangerous, but guess what? There's a lot more that are out there. There's companies like AMC. There's companies like Bed Bath & Beyond. Workhorse. They're all short squeezes. It seems like now a lot of us have missed the opportunity. Maybe think about the pandemic. You saw the market drop down to 18000 Now we're back down to 31000 Like, oh, I wish I got into it. I, you know, is it too late to get in? Well, guess what? That's what trading is all about. We love trading. Trading's the game. And it seems like there is this big niche out there that some people didn't realize it. There are ways of actually, unfortunately, could manipulate a stock with social media because a lot of people could say, hey, guess what? Let's all buy this. And, and if a company has only X amount of shares and everybody buys it, there's only one way it goes up. So what I'm going to talk about is something that a lot of you probably never heard of. I'm going to talk about level three and level four. Now, for some of you who don't know who I am, go look at my bio. I've been doing this for 25 years. I'm one of the original day traders that started doing this. And by the way, once you click on the bottom, subscribe. I am live every morning on YouTube and Facebook Live at 9 a.m. And we're going to talk about GameStop. And we're going to talk about some other big short squeezes because I think this is the next biggest thing that's going to happen. And there are so many moving as we speak right now. So right now, I'm just showing you what's going on with GameStop. You see what's happening right here. Something happened right around the day, right around. 11 o'clock when the stock was trading around 80 90 dollars now we've been watching GameStop all the way back and sit till I think it was um, if you go back on my YouTube channel we were watching GameStop right around Friday we saw this unusual activity now if you look at the news it sounded like pretty good news uh, what you have you had basically uh, chewy uh, the stock the stock chewy went out there and bought a, a pretty decent interest in it they want to step in and there was another analyst that came out there and said the stock was only worth 20 and then somehow you have this big big uh influx of uh reddit uh, uh ch chat room out there and they started saying you know what they basically went out there uh pumped the stock, talked about it, and then boom, look what's happening right now. Now we're looking right now, for some of you who don't know, let me just bring up the time because I don't have the time up here. Let me bring up the clock. So right now we're at military time. So we're talking about right now we are at, it is now almost seven o'clock right now, and the market is still moving. This stock at through at four o'clock started at a buck fifty, it ran to two fifty, did not want to stop. Now, some of you like say, is it too late to get in? Let me give you some advice. Do not trade the stock. Unless you're an advanced trader, you've been doing this for several years, do not trade it. I am warning you right now, you will get crushed, okay? This stock is not a $5 billion company, okay? This stock is a short squeeze. Watch my video. I've done so many videos on short squeezes talking about it. Now, it's a terrible thing what it is. I'm not here to educate you about you know about what a short squeeze is watch all the videos that I've done but I'm just telling you the, the short squeezes I've been dealing with short squeezes since the day I started in trading and let me tell you something it is very dangerous I'll even bring another one for some of you who don't know about it Kodak look what's happening Kodak right now right after hours remember Kodak let me bring up this chart a little bit bigger for you remember Kodak right here when uh, President Trump uh, somehow said he gave them the contract of, of, of something with, with with coronavirus first of all what the hell is Kodak I didn't even know Kodak is in that business stock literally ran okay look at the number two dollars ran all the way to oh about 60 bucks in less than three days okay and look where it is today it dropped not even two days later, a couple of days later, all the way back down to six. That is a short squeeze, okay? So now what's happening with it? It's moving again. Now, you want to look at some other short squeezes? AMC. Look at this one. AMC, same thing. Same thing, uh, what's going on? Four o'clock, the stock has been, first of all, who's going to the movies? Who's going to the movies? Nobody. Stock right here, if you look here on the, on the uh, long-term chart, stock was $2, got destroyed. How is the stock go from $2 to $7? Oh, very simple. Short squeeze, okay? Want to see another one? Bed Bath & Beyond. 
Here's another one. Who's going to Bed Bath & Beyond? If stock goes from $15 in a couple of days, in one day, one day, okay? One lousy day, stock goes from, what is that, $30 to $47? Oh, because they, they're selling so many uh, uh, KitchenAid appliances? These are what called short squeezes, and now this is the new thing that's going to be driving. Now, every single morning, we have a list that I find what's going on in the pre-market. How do I know this? I'm going to tell you right now. If any of you guys ever heard of level three and level four, probably not. Um, you ever heard of ECNs? You ever heard of algorithms? You ever heard of high frequency trades? You ever heard of dark pools? Okay, well, I'm going to show you one right now. Okay, what we're looking at right here is what's called the NASDAQ book viewer. Okay, this is the actual ECN. This is the telltale window of where the orders are. Remember one thing, how does stock scalping get, go down? Supply and demand, not some stupid indicator, not some Fibonacci, not some moving average. It's buyers and sellers, it's black and white, okay? It's not purple, it's not green, it's buyers and sellers. I live here in New York, I was trained by the best traders in the world, okay? And you know, one of the, like I said, one of the original souls bandits of the industry. When I started, it was about a thousand of us. Now there's over a hundred thousand, several hundred thousand of them. And I've been doing it ever since. Now, I helped develop this platform on Book Viewer. If you, you can actually go to our, our website, you could even watch the video. I was on, I was show, I, I've been a, a regular guest on NASDAQ talking about it because NASDAQ wants you to know how to use that platform. Some of you are sitting there trying to figure out, I can't do this on Robinhood. I can't do this. How are you trading after hours? The reason why is because you don't have a direct access system, okay? You don't have the right brokerage account. So looking at what's happening right here, just give you a quick little breakdown of what we're looking at. We're looking at buyers on the left, sellers on the right. You could see how many orders are out there, how many buyer bids are out there, and who's buying it. Now you'll notice that what we look at with all these numbers, we look for a lot of what we call iceberg orders, an around, a, 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 a bunch of big block orders out there that are actually um, people are, are buying it and selling it. Remember, 100 share guys, 200 share guys don't really affect me, okay? But when you see 3,000, 50,000, 200,000, guess what? That's, that's what we're looking for. Now, what's happening here, and getting back, please don't misconstrue uh, me getting falling off the uh, what's going on with GameStop. What's happening here with a short squeeze is that there are people that are... Are, are selling the stock, anticipating it's going down. If you know what options, it's basically like an option, okay? That, well, I guess that's where options actually came from, from shorting. So you have people that are selling the stock, anticipating to buy it cheaper, but it's not going up. So what happens, they're covering their short, and you know they're buying it back, and then doubling down. So they're almost like averaging down, but they're averaging up, trying to sell more. It's not going, it's not going down. They're buying it back, and then they're selling four times more. Buying it back, it's not going down. They're buying 10 times more. They're getting crushed, crushed, okay? Imagine you own something, and you dished out $10,000, and now you gotta dish out 10 million, you know, because you still think it's going down. That's what's happening with a short squeeze. But. It's just a matter of time when it will crash. Who knows? It's going to be sooner than later, but you don't want to be caught onto it. But how do we know if the buyers and sellers are still out there? We use NASDAQ Total View. Now, there is something else that you probably don't know about here in the day trading community. It's called Level 4. Okay, let me bring it up over here and show you what we got going on. What you're looking at right here, fellow traders, is something that is more advanced than Level 3. This is actually telling me who's out there and where their limit orders are, okay? This is where, these, these are people that have orders out there around the world that are trading GameStop. Now, unfortunately right now, because we're so late into the uh, market close, um, you can see these, uh, basically look at a heat map, and we're looking at these big orders that there are, th there's a guy right now sitting to sell 5,800 50, 5, shares at $2.45. And you got a couple of buyers here, 1,200. Nothing substantial. But let me go hop over here on AMC. When you look at AMC, look at the red bars. Look at these guys getting done. Look at the green bulls. These guys are getting crushed, okay? Let me show you right here on AMC. Look at AMC. Look at that resistance levels. Resistance levels are made from sellers, Okay, that's what resisted from going higher, not some Fibonacci. But unfortunately, for some of you who don't know that, guess what? Those sellers are getting done. And look what's happening. 
What happens when somebody sells it and somebody buys it from him? The stock goes higher. And look what's happening here. So when you're looking at GameStop, I'm just trying to give you a little education. Don't fall for the like, oh, we think GameStop's going to 2000? What do you think this is? You think it's a, a, you know, a, a Bitcoin or something like that? It's going to crash, okay? It's not worth the value. Don't get caught on a short squeeze. But there are other short squeeze that are cheaper, less expensive, that you could do it, that they're out there. So what I'm saying is this. If you want to learn more about level three, level four, you want to know how to find these short squeezes, because I think this is the next um, uh, financial crisis, Bitcoin, um, uh, uh, COVID, is what's happening right now. The power of the internet. When people go out there and a frenzy starts in, everybody jumps in, it's going to happen. So come and join us tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. every morning here on Cyber Trade University, live on YouTube and Facebook Live, and let me show you what's gonna happen, because I guess, guess what? You're gonna wanna know what's gonna happen in pre-market, and your brokerage firm can't tell you, depending on what account you have, but you'll see it here live, and I'll show you what's gonna happen, and not only that, but you'll see our traders out there in our group, in our professional trading room, and see what we're doing, and where we're gonna take from there. So we'll see you then. Thanks for listening, everybody, and don't forget, please like us, friend us, and uh, follow us, all right? Good luck, everyone, happy trading.